Welcome to Shas Illuminated. Please enjoy the following shear. We are beginning tonight's shear in the beginning of Simon Tov Kuf Tzadi, the top of page 128. The Mechaber says in Sef Aleph, Kama Tekios Chayiv Odom Lishmoa B'Rosh Hashanah. How many Tekios, how many blows is a person Chayiv to hear on Rosh Hashanah? Teisha, nine blows. Lufish and Emar Trua Biyovel Uber Rosh Hashanah Shalosh Pamim. Because the Pasak says the word Trua by Yom Kippur of Yovel and by Rosh Hashanah a total of three times. Vichol Trua Pshuta Lafanea Upshuta Lachareha. And each Trua has a blow of a Tkia before it and a blow of a Tkia afterwards. Umi Pia Shmua Lamdu Shekol Trua Shalchodesh Hashvi Echadhin. And Mi Pia Shmua it's been learned that all truos that are mentioned in connection to Tishrei are one. Bein the Rosh Hashanah, bein biyom Kippurim shel Yovel. Whether it's the trua of Rosh Hashanah or the trua of Yom Kippur of Yovel, we put them all together for a total of three truos with a pshuta lefanea, pshuta lechera by each one. So it turns out to nine kolos, teisha, tekios, token, bechol echad mishneim. So we end up blowing nine blows by each of them, meaning by Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur of Yovel. Tkia, trua, tkia, tia, trua, tkia, tkia, trua, tkia. That's tarat, tarat, tarat. Says the Mishabura of Katan Aleph, Biyovel Uber Rosh Hashanah Shalosh Pa'amen. We said in the Mechaber that it says trua three times combined between Yovel and Rosh Hashanah. Diksib Yom Akipurim Shal Yovel. The Pasuk says by Yom Kippur of Yovel, Vihaavarta Shofar Trua. Uber Rosh Hashanah Ksiv Shabbosan Zichron Shua and Yom Trua Yelochem. Sifkat and Beis, Pshuta Lofaneha. How do we know that you need a Tkia before and after each Trua? So before, Diksiv, the Pasuk says, V'ha'avarta Shofar Trua. Mashma ha'avaras kol echa lefnei ha'trua. V'ha'avarta Shofar means there's a blow of a Shofar before the Trua. Sifkat and Gimel, Pshuta Lacharia, there's also a Tkia after the Trua. Diksiv, Ta'aviru Shofar. After it says, V'ha'avarta Shofar Trua, it then says again, Ta'aviru Shofar. So we see a Tkia which is referred to as Havart the Shofar before the Shua and after the Shua. Sefkat and Dalat Shachod Shvi'i, the Gamrin and Shvi'i, Shvi'i l'Xeri Shava, we learn l'Xeri Shava, between the two places that it says Shvi'i. Ne'emar by Rosh Hashanah, B'chodesh HaShvi'i, it says by Rosh Hashanah in the seventh month, and Ne'emar by Yovel, and it says by Yovel, the Havart the Shofar Shua B'chodesh HaShvi'i. So we see it says Shvi'i both places, we learn it from each other, and that's how we come out with three Shuos, with the Tkia before and after each one, we get a total of nine Tkios. If you, says the Mechaber by the Sebeish, Shua Zoha Mura Batora Nestapik Lonu. This Shua, that's written in the Torah, we are Mesopic exactly what it means. In hi hayalolo shanu korin trua. Is it a sound of short little crying sounds like we call a trua? O im hi masha anu korin shvarim. Or is it a little bit longer sounds like we call a shvarim? O im heim shneim yachad. Or it's both together, it's a shvarim trua together. Lefikach, therefore, kedei lotzei sidei suffolk, in order to avoid any kind of suffolk, tarach luskoa, Tashrat Shalosh Pa'amim, V'tashat Shalosh Pa'amim, V'tarat Shalosh Pa'amim. Since we're simply exactly what a Trua is, and we know we need three Truas with a Tkia before and after each one, so we have to do everything times three. So we have to do a Tkia Shvarim Trua Tkia three times, a Tkia Shvarim Tkia three times, and Tkia Trua Tkia three times. So all of a sudden, our nine tekios that we require midaraisa has turned mesafik into thirty tekios. Says the mishabura sevkat and hey nistapik lanu midim metarguminon shrua yevava from the fact that the targum of the word shrua in the Torah is yevava alma shahu kekol shaodam mashmia keshu bocha umiyalo. So we see from there that a shrua is a cold that a person lets out while he was cry while he is crying. We still don't know if it's like a person who's groaning from his heart. Like a person who is sick and he's letting his call out in short, 
kol achar kol, one kol after the other, umarich ben tzas, and it's a little bit longer. Vuhu anikra goneach, that's called goneach. Vuhu derech haboche betchilas bechiaso. That's the way a person cries in the beginning of his crying. He has longer sounds. Vizeu mashanu koren shvarim, that's what we refer to as a shvarim. O kaadam hamiyalu o makonen, or like a person who is more weeping, and he's makonen shemashmiya kolos ktsaros. He's letting it hurt, be heard, short abbreviated kolos, techufos zeh zeh. Right one after the other. Vhu mash anu korin trua. O imhu shneem keachad. Or if really a trua is both crying sounds together, the beginning of the crying with their longer sounds, the shvarim, together with the shorter sounds that come later in the crying, which is a trua, and therefore you would need a shvarim trua. Sivkatan vavi says, Vitashat shalosh vaamim. Vein yotze bemashe toka tashrat. You're not yotze. If you need, on the tzada, you need just a shvarim, you're not yotzi, if you put in a shvarim trua, the dilma kavanos ha Torah al shvarim l'chud, because maybe the Torah wants the trua to be just the sound of a shvarim. The kamafsik b'trua ben shvarim l'tki achrona. And by you saying shvarim trua, instead of a regular shvarim, you're sticking in extra trua between the shvarim and the tkiah. The kach ozer v'takeah shvarim l'chud, therefore you have to go back, after doing the tkiah shvarim trua tkiah set, you have to go back and do a tkiah shvarim alone set. Umach mazeh atam, for this very reason, tzarech l'tkoa gam kein tarat, you also have to blow tkia trua tkia, the ain yotze bame shetaka tashrat, and you're not yotze with your tkia shvarim trua tkia, again, because dilma kavanah zatara al trua l'chud, maybe by saying trua, the Torah means a trua like we have it, the hivsik b'tchila b'shvarim b'in tkia l'trua, and by doing only a shvarim trua, you're being masik between the first tkia and the trua with the shvarim, and therefore we have to do, in fact, all three tkia, Tkia Shvarim Trua Tkia, Tkia Shvarim Tkia, and Tkia Trua Tkia. Now let's look at the Shara Tzion and Os Beis. So we said from the fact that the Torah says the Targum of Trua is Yavava, it's crying, so we become a Supag exactly what type of crying. And the Alfina Me'ima de Sisra de Ksidbo Vati Yabiv. We learn out that the Lushan of Trua, which is in the Targum Yivava, that it's crying, we learn that out from the mother of Sisra, because it says there she was crying. If you look at note number four, he points out, Umilimud zemi imul shal Sisra, le mitzvah tkiah shofar, and from this limud from the mother of Sisra, the mitzvah tkiah shofar, beer, hagon of Yitzhak blazer, shalomadnu es inyan ha trua, we learn the concept of the trua, shari omru la she'ein la siba lachshu she'beno meis b'mochama, they were telling the mother of Sisra, she doesn't have to be worried about the fact that maybe her son died in battle, u bevadai hu mechalik es shalal ha-mochama, for sure he's just, divvying up the booty that he won in the Muhammad. Umikomakum he pachta shemahumais, but still she was afraid that maybe he died. Vize Bolulandeinu, this comes to teach us Mahar Gosha Shitrika Lios Laodan the Ace Tkia Shofar. The type of feeling that a person has to have at the time of the Tkios, She Itochin She Yitzke Haodun Bedino, it could be that a person will be Zaycha in his din. The Yi Kosev Lchayim Tovim Umusharim will be written for a life of good and happiness. Ach Mikomokom Olav Lafachid Vilizar, but still he has to be afraid, he has to be careful. Shem Yisrashel, because if he is negligent, Olu Lahavi Al Asmo Asa Neira. If he's negligent, he could chas v'shalom bring upon himself terrible things. And so too explains Rabbi Yoshev. So besides learning from Aim Sisra what the lashon of Yivava, which is the targum of Trua, means that it means crying, we also learn a muster of how we're supposed to be feeling during Tkiya Shofar, That although on the one hand we have confidence that Hashem will judge us favorably and will be zayich and dim, however we also are scared that if we don't play our cards right, then we could come about with terrible things. Says the Mechaber Vaiter and Siv Gimel. Yesh Omrim Sheshir Tekiya Ketrua. There are those who say that the length of a Tekiya is the same as the length of a Trua. Veshir Trua Keshloshi Yavavos. And the Shir of a Trua is three Yavavos. Tehainu Shlosha Kochos Ba'almo Koshu. Three very small sounds. Veheim Nikron Trumitin. And those three very small sounds are called Trumitin. So it comes out, if you follow the Cheshbin over here, that a, this Shita holds that a Shira of a is like a Trua. A Shira of a Trua is three Yavavos. And the, th- and the Yavava is a very short kol. 
So a trua is three very short kolos, and a tkiya is like a trua, so a tkiya is also very, very short kolos, the length of three very short kolos. Ulufiza, according to this, a person has to be careful. Since according to the shita, we're saying the shir of tkiya is like a trua, which is a, the length of three very short sounds. So you have to make sure that when you're saying a shvarim, when you're blowing a shvarim, it shouldn't be the size of a tkiah, it shouldn't be up to three trumitin. Shem kein yotza miklal shever v'nasa tkiah. Because then it will go out from the category of a shever and will become a tkiah. The Ramah writes, V'yeish omrim de'ein lochosh im herich b'shvarim tzas. The Ramah writes are those who say that you don't have to worry if your shvarim is a little bit longer. U'bilvad shelo yarich yoser midai, as long as it's not too long. V'chein nohagim, and that is the minog, and we'll explain this in greater detail, this Ramah, later. The Mechaber continues and says, V'tzarech laharich b'tkiah shel tashrat yoser mibishel tashat. You also have to elongate the tkiah that's around the shvarim trua more than the tkiah that's around the shvarim. U'bishel tashat yoser mibishel tarat. And you have to have the tkiah around the shvarim, longer than the tekiah that's around the trua. Because as we'll see, the tekiah has to be longer than whatever is in the middle. So the tekiah around the trua is one length. It's the length of a trua, like we said. The tekiah that's around the shvarim has to be at least as long or longer than the shvarim. And the tekiah around the shvarim trua has to be longer than the shvarim trua. Umiya, however, in marich harbe b'cho tekiah in lochosh. If one elongates with every tekiah, he doesn't have to be worried. She'ein lo shir lomalo, there is no size of a tekiah lomalo. V'chein b'trua yochol laharich bo kamo sheyirtza. Also when it comes to the trua, a person can make as many short, consistent kolos as he wants. V'chein imosev al shlosha shvarim. V'osa arba u chamisha in lochosh. And so too if a person adds on to the three shvarim, he says four or five shvarim, he does not have to be concerned. We're going to stop there for today's shir in the Mechaber. We'll go to the Mishabura, but just to summarize this Mechaber again, the Mechaber tells us that there are those who say the shir of a tekiah is like a trua, and the shir of tekiah is three of us, which is three very short sounds. So the shir of a tekiah comes out to be very short. It only has to be the length of three very short sounds. According to this, the Mechaber said, you have to make sure with your shvarim, it's not going to be the length of three short sounds, because then it already goes out from the shevr and becomes a tekiah. The Ramah argued and says there are those who say you don't have to worry if your shvarim is a little bit longer as long as it's not too long. And then the Mechaber told us you have to elongate the tkiah of the tashrat more than the tashat and the tkiah of the tashat more than the tarat. But if you add on more kolos to the true, it's okay. And if you add on more kolos of the shvarim, it's also okay. <clears throat> says the Mishaburas of Katan Zayin Yesh Omrim Sheshir Tkiah Ketrua Da you should know. The Bain Yesh Omrim Hazel, U Bain Yesh Omrim Shemevi Amachaber Besot Dvarov. Both according to this first sheet that we'll see in this year, and the next Yesh Omrim the Machaber brings down, which we'll see in the next year, Tarvayu Svirluhud. Both Sheetas hold the Shir Tekia He Ketrua. They both hold that the length of a Tekia has to be like a Trua. In the brackets he writes, the Tekia Hainu Bain Shalafana Bain Shalacharea. Whether it's the Tekia before the trua or the tkiah after the trua, it has to be the shear of a trua. Elo de mechulokan b'shir trua. The machlokas is what exactly is the shear of the trua. De la hayesh omrim hazeh shiuro hu shlosha kochos ketanim. According to the first yesh omrim that we're discussing in this year, the shear of a trua, as we mentioned, is three very short kolos. Ula hayesh omrim hasheni, and according to the other yesh omrim that we'll see in Mitzvah Shem the next year, Trua hu kashir tisha kolchos. Then a trua is much longer. It has to be the length of, th- of nine short kolos. Umemela nafkemina hu gamkein le'inyan shir tkila. So memela comes out nafkemina in the shir tkila. According to the first opinion that says a shir trua is three short kolos. So a tkila is the length of three short kolos. According to the second shir that we'll see next time that the shir trua is the shear of nine short kolos, so a tekiah has to be the shear of nine kolos. But everyone agrees that the shear of a tekiah is the shear of a trua. The nafkamina is going to be what's the shear of a trua, which plays itself out also in the machlokas of how long a tekiah has to be. The Mechaber then told us, <clears throat> one should be careful, lefi this shita, that a tekiah is the size of a trua, and a trua is only three short kolos, so a tekiah is very short. So you have to make sure that your shvarim, 
each kol of your shever, each shever that you do is going to be less than three short kolos, so it should not be considered a tkiah. Says the Mishaburas of Katan Ches, Shalom Yarech B'Shever, Rotolomar needs to say, Shever Echad, meaning one of the three Shvarim, one Shever, the Hainu Kol Echad, one of those Kolos, Lo Yarech Keshlosha Chumitin, it should not be the length of three short Kolos. Venasa Tkiah, because then it turns into a Tkiah. Ubein B'Shvarim Tel Shel Tashat, Ubein B'Shvarim Shel Tashrat, Sarach Lizar Bazeh. Says the Mishabura, according to the sheet of the Machaber, it doesn't matter which shvarim you're saying, it doesn't matter if you're saying a shvarim in the section of tkiah, shvarim tkiah, or in the section of tkiah, shvarim trua tkiah, any shever that you're ever blowing has to be less than the shear of three short kolos, which is a shear tkiah. The Ramah came and argued and said there are those who say that you don't have to worry if your shvarim is a little longer, as long as it's not too long. Says the Mishabura of Katan Tas, it shouldn't be Yosem Midai. Mishabura explains, B'Shvarim shall Tashrat, when it comes to the Shvarim, that's in the section of Tkia, Shvarim, Chua Tkia, Lo Yarech, B'Shever, Echad, Kishir, Shlosha, Shvarim, Chua. All you have to make sure when you're in the section of Tkia, Shvarim, Chua Tkia, is that any one shever should not be as long as three Shvarim and a Chua. The hot Tashrat Avdinan Misveka, because the reason we blow Tashrat in the first place is the Shema Chua de Kro Shem Yachad. Because maybe when the Torah says Chua, it really means like we hold of a Shorim Chua. The Imkain Gama Tekia Tzarech Leos Shem Yachad. So Mamele in the section of Tkia Shvarim Chua Tkia, the Tkia has to be the length of a Chua. Here the Chua is a Shvarim Chua. So Mamele the Tkia has to be much longer. The Alkain, and therefore, Av Shehera Tzas B'Shvarim Leis Lamba. Even if one Shever is a little longer, it's not going to concern us. Again, the Mechaber is telling us, the Mishabur is telling us, you look at each section independently. So in the section of Tkiah, Shvarim, Chua, Tkiah, we're understanding that a Chua of the Torah is a Shvarim, Chua. But maybe when we say a Tkiah is like a Chua, the Tkiah has to be the length of a Shvarim, Chua, which is very much longer than what we've been saying till now. But maybe if your Shever in that section is longer, it's not a concern because your Tkiah is for sure much longer. The Mishabur goes on and tells us, Ube Tashat, in the section of Tkia Shvarim Tkia Lo Yarich B'Shever Echad Kashir Shlosha Shvarim Mehai Taima. So when your Trua is a Shvarim, because you're in the section of Tkia Shvarim Trua, so then your length of each Shever should not be as long as three Shvarim for that reason, because that's a Shir of a Tkia. Aval Kashir Shlosha Trumit and Mutter. However, if your Trua, if your Shever would be the size of three very short sounds, that would be okay. The whole karavdin and shvarim, because when we make a shvarim, the aruch yosem mitrua didon, which is longer than our trua, who machmas the nestapik lanu the shema trua kasa bataru shvarim didon the canal. The whole reason we're doing the tkia shvarim tkia is we're concerned maybe the trua of the Torah is really a shvarim, which is longer than a regular trua like we blow it. And therefore, Lefidish first shita, that a trua is three short blows, so a shvarim is longer than that. The male of the tekiya is longer than that, so if your shever is a little longer than three short blows, it would be fine. Um, gamkin yoser. So the male of the tekiya of the tashat is longer than the tekiya of the tarat, and therefore the shever is a little longer, it's okay. That's how the Mishabura explains this Ramah that says that don't not, you don't have to worry if your shever is a little bit longer. Because again, he says you judge each section separately. And in each of these sections, the Tkia Shvarim Chua Tkia, the Tkia Shvarim Tkia, whenever you have a Shvarim, the Tkia in that section is longer than the Tkia in the Tkia Chua Tkia section. Because the Tkia Chua Tkia section, a Chua is three above or three short sounds. So the Tkia is three short sounds. But says the Ramah, when you're in a section where there's a Shvarim, so automatically your Tkia is longer. And therefore, each shever could be a little bit longer than the three short sounds. The hamachaber bideya rishona sover, but the machaber that came before this rama holds kevan the beseder tarat atkia raket shua shlosh kogos ketanim. Since in the section of tkia shua tkia, 
A tru is three short sounds, according to the Shita. Memele the Dekiah is the length of three short sounds. Su ein laharuch b'shever echel asosu ke'en ze. Memele, you don't want to make any shever in any other section to be the length of a tkia in a tkia trua tkia section. So the machlokas over here, as the Meshavur explains between the Mechaber and the Ramah is, the Mechaber says that since there is a tkia, albeit it's in the section of tkia trua tkia, but there the tkia is very short, it's three short sounds, Memela any shever, even though it's obviously in another section, any shever can't be the size of a tekiah, of a tarat. That will be a problem. The Ramos says that's not true. You look at each section what the length of a tekiah is going to be. Since tekiah is the length of a trua, so whatever that section is viewing a trua as, that's the length of the tekiah. So if you're in a tekiah, shvarim tekiah, so the tekiah has to be the length of the shvarim, which is longer than three short sounds. Memela, each shever is allowed to be longer than three short sounds because you're not becoming a tekiah of that section. Says the Mishibur Vaitis of Katan Yud, the Mechaber had told us, you have to elongate the Tkia of the Tashrat longer than the Tkia of the Tashat. The Shem have a Shvarim u Trua Yachad, as we've discussed already a few times, that maybe the Trua of the Torah is really Shvarim Trua together. Verota Loma Yolo Vagonach means to say the two types of crying. The Shir Tkia Halo have a Trua. And as we know already, the Shir Tkia is like a Trua. The male of the kia is longer. According to this shita, that a trua is a shvarim trua, it's enough if the kia of that section is the size of 12 short kolos. And we'll come to that, back to that shortly. The tekiah of the tashat section has to be longer than the tekiah of the tarat section. The shvarim who go neach, because shvarim is the longer crying sounds, who yoser gadol miyolo shu trua, and that's longer than the shorter crying sounds, which is a trua. The shir tekiah dai bezek ketisha kochos, and the shir tekiah in the section of tashat will be nine kochos, which we'll come back to. Ubishal tarat dai betekiah keshehi shel shlosha kochos, and like we said already in the mechaber. The tkia in the section of Tarat, it's enough for the tkia to be three short kolos. The length of three short kolos, kemosha kasa beresha sif, like we mentioned in the beginning of the sif. Now if you look at note number seven in the back of the sefer, on page 36, it just points out that the Be'alocha later, in the Ramasil Umi, Mevur Shiladeya Harishonu B'Shulchanach, according to this first Shulchanach Shita, which we've been discussing today, Hatkia Shal Tashrat Yikashir Tes Kochos. It's not like the Mishabura says over here, it's Yud Beis Kochos. Rather, it's nine kochos. Sharei l'day azu shir kol shever hu shnei kochos. Because the shir of each shever is two kochos. Ke mevur b'shar tziyon l'halans of kotom ches. V'ninsa shiyesh l'ashas is ashvarim b'shir shisha kochos. V'at b'tkiyah shal tashat dai b'shir vav kochos medina. And even at the kiyah of tashat, it's enough to have six. It's the length of six shor kochos ke mevur b'bira alocha. V'shir terua hu shlosha kochos. So note number seven, just pointing out, so although the Mishabur is explaining over here, the Shir of Adekiah, Lafi the first Shita, in Tashrat is the length of 12 short kochos, Tashat is a length of 9 kochos, Tarat is 3, really we'll see from the Be'er Locha later, and we'll get into the discussion exactly the length of these Tekiyos, but it's not really 12, 9, and 3, really it's 9, 6, and 3. Let's go right through the Mishabur, Sefkot and Yud Aleph, as we turn on to page Samachai. We said, if you add on to the amount of shvarim to do four or five instead of three, you don't have to worry about it. Says the Mishabura, the Yishman HaPoskim Shemachmir Mbazah, the Ar Poskim that argue on this. V'nachon lochosh l'divreim l'chatchilo shelo lasos yoser mishlosh shvarim. It is best to be concerned for their shita l'chatchilo not to do a shvarim more than three kochos, what we normally do. And even though the Mechaber says if you do more not to worry, there are those who argue. And therefore the Mishabura says that it's proper l'chatchilo to be choshish that shita and not to make any extra shvarim, although he does not seem to bring anyone that argues that when it comes to the trua, you can make extra kochos. We'll stop here and continue with Hashem in the next year. Vaiter and Sev Gimel will we'll see the other shita of the Mechaber with what the shir of a trua is. You have been listening to a shir from shasilluminated.org. For other shir on many topics, or to hear an eon shir on any daf in shas, including Mara Mechaimus on each shir, please visit www.shasilluminated.org. 
To order CDs or for more information, please call 203-312-SHAS. That's 203-312-7427 or email info at shasilluminated.org.